Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing writing a given number as product of its prime factors. Together, let's make learning mathematics fun and easy. Prime factorization is a method used to break down a given number into a product of prime numbers. This is also known as prime decomposition. If the number is expressed as product of factors that are all prime numbers, the expression is called the prime factorization of the number. Express 16 as a product of prime factors. You will notice that they use different factors at the beginning, but they got the same answer at the end since the task is to express 16 as a prime factors. This means that you will not stop factoring until you get the prime factors. How to perform prime factorization? Step 1. List down the first few prime numbers. These are usually the prime numbers used in the prime factorization. Example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Step 2. Test the given number if it can be divided by 2 or divisible by the smallest prime number, which is 2. If not, test it with the other prime numbers like 3, 5, and so on. There are two common methods in performing prime factorization. These are factor 3 and continuous division. Look at the examples below and see the difference between the two methods. Method 1, Factor 3 24 is factored into 4 times 6. You will notice that neither 4 or 6 are not prime numbers. Twenty-four is factored into four times six. You will notice that neither four or six are not prime numbers. The prime factorization of twenty-four is two times two times two times three or twenty-three times three. Method two Continuous division. Example, find the prime factorization of 36. Divide by the smallest prime factor. Then continue dividing by the next prime factor. Repeat the procedure until you get 1. Therefore, the prime factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 or 22 times 32. Let's do this. Complete the prime factorization of the following numbers using the factor 3. Therefore, the prime factorization of 18 is 3 times 3 times 2. Let's 
Therefore, the prime factorization of 45 is 5 times 3 times 3. Therefore, the prime factorization of 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Therefore, the prime factorization of 120 is 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 5. Therefore, the prime factorization of 72 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Let's do this. Write the prime factorization of the following numbers using continuous division. Therefore, the prime factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Therefore, the prime factorization of 42 is 2 times 3 times 7. Therefore, the prime factorization of 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Therefore, the prime factorization of 63 is 3 times 3 times 7. Therefore, the prime factorization of 64 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Let's do this. Write the prime factorization of each number. Thirty-eight is. 2 times 19 56 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 66 2 times 3 times 11 93 3 times 31 44 2 times 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 
2 times 2 times 11. 93, 3 times 31. 58, 2 times 29. 81, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 78, 2 times 3 times 13. 85, 5 times 17. Let's do this. Find the composite number in each prime factorization below. One is seventy-two. Two is fifty-four. Three is sixty. Four is 90 5 is 180 6 84 7 44 8 70 9 140 10 108 Let's do this Find the composite number named in each exponential form. One is forty, two is one hundred eight, three is three hundred sixty, four is one hundred forty four. 5 is 92 6 is 250 7 112 8 96 9 288 and 10 216 Math Fact in writing a prime factorization of a composite number, use factor 3 or continuous division. Divide the composite con number by the possible smallest prime number. If the factors are still composite, repeat or continue the process until it becomes a prime number. Always write the final prime factors in exponential form. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.